Hey guys, welcome to episode three. Um, this one we're talking to Florent one more time uh, to break down how he does an image when he doesn't use any 3D. This one is all photos. Uh, it's really eye-opening, the way he finds photos, the way he puts them together. And, and uh, in this one and the previous ones and all the future ones, basically what's happening is I'm gonna keep pressing them, artists, on what I wanna know. Uh, so you're really just hearing the questions that I would have. Um, if you have detailed questions in the comments, feel free to throw them in there. We're going really fast. We're not really getting into um, the software use, as you guys know. We're really just breaking down, um, trying to get down to the thinking. The thinking and like, what are they doing that, that maybe some of us may not know. All right, enjoy. Why are you so good at art, Florent? Because like I'm born, I was born like that, you know. It's, 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 it's in me, you know. <laughs> it is like that, but you were in matte painting for a long time, right? Yeah, but I guess that's what you know helped because it was so much. Do you really think it's that though? Such photo manipulation, making things realistic, like it helped. I think so because making things you know seamless, like you don't see. I mean, you know, I can still some, but see some, but just blending everything together, I think it helped because you know, like, yeah, matte painting is about that. Yeah, and you said helps. It's actually pronounced helps. There's an H at the beginning of that word. Helps. <laughs> helps. Yeah. No, but like in map painting, when you were, when you're doing a map painting, is it, there's just a lot of like trying to like match, make things look like they're all part of the same thing? Yeah, because like usually, you know, you get, I mean, for some of the projects, you start from a plate from the, you know, from, from the shooting, like Game of Thrones, it was the plate from the shooting, and we had, you know, I had to just add on top of that. So you're not supposed to think, to see like I added stuff on top of that. Right. It's just supposed, supposed to, to look like it's from the real world. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to know all your little tidbits to how to do that. So this image, so what did we, what, what were we asked to do on this shot? Uh, mainly we present Jackson, like how, you know, they live there now. So it was supposed to be snow. I think we had the location. Uh, Jackson, it was kind of the city also in Colorado, you know, that kind of mood. I actually started with, uh, I guess I can show like the, uh, I started like that. Okay, that's interesting. You started like that. Yeah, I remember this. And we were looking at, uh, what were you trying to do? Just find some ideas for shots? Yeah, I was, because I wanted something, you know, uh, on the street eye level just to feel like you are in the, in the city with the crowd with, I don't know, it just feel more intimate and just do a big, you know, just a big, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, how can I say that? Just, you know, from top and it's not, I don't know, you don't feel like you are in the city with the character. And I just wanted also like, just find the story moment and I just feel it's better if you are inside uh, one of those streets and you can see the shops, you can see the facade. I've had a lot of people ask idea. that, like, why are all one pixel brush concepts from eye level, like from the same perspective? And uh, my answer was always like, because it's cooler. Yeah. 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 It's also yeah, happens you, to you be... do a game, you make a game where it's going to be eye level. So it's, I don't know, it kind of makes sense. But yeah. But yeah. do happen. And as a player, you, you're an eye level. So, and it's also fun yeah. to be in the concept from eye level. Yeah. So you have all those photos, right? Yeah. And they're all cool. So why did you like the one that you, which one did you pick? Uh, this one. I don't know, they, they kind of all work, but this one. That one in the middle there? Yeah. I, felt, I kind of like that. I just didn't like, yeah, I just didn't like the perspective just going like almost infinite. You know, that street, I kind of like, it's, it's, a, it's a crossroad almost. So I, see. so I can show something else in there and not just, you know, it's just going, you know, too far. So I see. So the ones that are one point perspective that yeah. just keep going to the horizon, you felt like you weren't going to be able to show as many buildings. Yeah, you like a, a focal point, I think. Yeah. It's just going and going and going and I just didn't want that. It yeah. just feel like big street, you know, that one. For it. Yeah. And well, like, the, like the one you ended up picking has all these buildings really perpendicular so you could get to design those buildings. Yeah. And also, like, yeah, that's stupid, but I have no car, so I can do whatever I want in the foreground without, like, thinking I have to remove, you know, all of those, which would, like, don't make, make no sense to have still, like, that much car. You know, oh, I you know. see. So, you, were, like, you were, like, glad that there weren't cars, so you didn't yeah, have to, like, mess with I them. I would have, yeah, I would have, like, removed them, but at least this one has... Why wouldn't you just why wouldn't you just dirty them up? Is it just easier for you to get your own new destroyed reference of car and put it in? 
Yeah, and I, I guess because they live there, so maybe they're going to clean up the street. It's not going to be, you know, all fucked up, you know, yeah. everywhere. So try to have a mix of that. There is still like maybe some old car, but they cleaned up the place. Yeah, and it looks like in the final you got some you got some lighting ideas from some of the other ones because the top two have really nice, cool, moody lighting. The one with the yeah, orange like clouds. Yeah, for, for the background as well, I didn't want it to, it just, you know, getting so much attention, this one. Uh, it was just too much, so I'd rather like remove it, remove it. And what I like, I think it was about like this one and this one. I just love that you just see the mountain in the background. There is not yeah. even sky. It just feels really big. So. Why do you like having no sky? Hmm? Why did you like having no sky? I thought it was cool just set a scale of the mountain even more. Like this one feel, eh, okay, it's, you know, it's, it's more like a big hill than a mountain. And I just want Wait, zoom into the one you're talking about? Like to feel like it's, it's really something huge in the back. Yeah. Uh, this one, like this one, like with the sky, you just feel, you know, it's kind of a big hill, just, just something like that, but not a mountain. Like this one, when you see that, you just feel fucking huge. Yeah. So, just cool. And also, I think the shapes that are already there in those trees and the snow, yeah. the snow and the tree shapes are already kind of nice. Yeah. We were just talking about that with, with Antoine a little bit in that, like, there's this, in, in, when you draw, you try to draw beautiful, nice shapes. You learn that in figure drawing and stuff. And the way that traditional art skill applies to this is you kind of yeah. sometimes are just looking for the photo that already has the sexy shapes or close to the shapes that yeah. you kind of might want. But I think the, the image for the background I mixed like from one that has the, almost the perfect lighting. I just added some shape. It worked, but the base was was there, so I didn't have to worry that much about that. Cool. And, and yeah, so, after yeah, yeah, go ahead. And then uh, and then the sketches on the right. Let's look at those. Yeah, I just right. like those. I just tried you know some ID based on those on those photo. I just wanted you know, just to, to picture some. Uh, now, did we send this, like, uh, did we send this to them or did we just look at this internally? I think we just looked at this internally. Yeah, probably. And we, we picked uh, the, the kind of old seminar, but we pink, uh, picked one of them. Yeah. And, uh, but I'm not sure yet we sent, uh, I don't remember if we sent that. No, I don't think we did. I, and I think that's an interesting thing is like, we're doing a lot of internal stuff. And yeah. then we're just kind of like, and we do this with a lot of clients. We're doing a lot of internal stuff and just deciding what the best one is. And then being like, here's what we think is the best one. Do you also like it? And like most of the time, nine out of 10, they're like, yeah, it's fine. It's cool. Carry and on. I think also it was not like, like dramatic change from one composition to another. So I guess that's fine if we pick it oh. by ourselves, you know, it's not just. So why did you do all those three compositions? What were you thinking when you, as you were doing them? And what were you doing in those? It looks like you were doing some, did you do some filter to the photo to start and then you started yeah. making yeah, like a triangle yeah. brush of trees? Yeah, just to, uh, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, for this one, I started with the photo I'm gonna use for the final, this one. And that's where I just try to have something, you know, for the background, just like that. But yeah, just looking for the, for the ID so I don't have to get, you know, into photos, just a triangle brush, you know, just for the trees. And I'm just looking, yeah, for that kind of, you know, shape for the background and the what rest are just what do you mean shape for the background like what what I just look the, uh, the snow and the and the trees i mean it's always nice you know with uh, when you have snow about that you know it just contrasts nicely so i just wanted to to get that in the sketch yeah we were talking about the other ones like snow dirt anything where it's like a light on dark is really good yeah for it's just perfect like shapes. you have sand sand is the same snow. sand yeah, you can just play with the shape. Yeah, because there's a lot of stuff in an image you can't control. Like the buildings, yeah. you can't like mess with the shape of the buildings too much, yeah. but you can only mess with snow is good or trees or anything organic. And yeah, just, yeah, those sketch also just try to put like some character because I just didn't want it just the street with two characters. I just feel like they're not, you know, in a friendly place, I guess. It's yeah. cool if you have, you know, just, and it's it was supposed to be, you know, they settled there, so now it's it's alive. You have a lot of stuff happening, so that's why I wanted to. Right, there was a story element of like this is a pretty yeah. put together civilization yeah. of people yeah. in a town. We didn't have like the the specific, you know, exactly what they're gonna do. So I just, you know, just imagine what could happen as a small story. But uh, yeah, 
Well, you had a lot of storytelling in this. So out of those three, yeah, which did you uh, like best? Why did why, why did you like it? I think uh, I think it's a mix of those two. I think so. Yeah, I think I, I went for the those two because I know I, I tried something for for the uh, I have that building that I, I grab after to put into this one just because yeah. I kind of like the the idea because we, we talked to, uh, I think about that kind of you know architecture kind of wood and uh, feel a bit old. Like oh right. Right. City, yeah, I like that old wood architecture. US. Starbucks always gets the sweet real yeah. estate. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Yeah, they yeah, always do. Just... Yeah, like right here, you know, in my mouth, this real estate. Yeah. I wish. <laughs> mm -hmm. I knew so, we have, yeah, kind of the, of the mood I think they wanted. So I just, you know, look at uh, one picture from uh, the Revenant. And it was the Revenant, yeah. Yeah. Did they want that mood? Did they tell us what mood they were after? I think so. I think we had like uh, stuff related to the revenant and the snow, and uh, what they wanted was was close to that. I think so. I think we uh, we had a reference like that, or oh, they mentioned it, but I think I remember something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So you combine a couple of these. You started with yeah. that base photo. Yeah. And uh, yeah, after like you know, I just reuse. I think yeah, I picked that sketch because it was you know, the main ref uh, for the background it was the same photo. And I just, uh, yeah, I picked this one. I, I start for, uh, from that photo. And from this, I just start to, you know, add the snow, add the first, you know, pass on everything. So it started to look like that. And I wanted to extend, just, uh, I didn't want to keep like, kept, you know, that frame. I just wanted a bit more uh, just to to have a bit more of the street and uh, and everything. So yeah, yeah. I just started to extend that you know first day of snow. Okay, but turn that back off and on. Quite a bit got done in that in those in that one click. Turn that back yeah, on. Yeah, and it's the first I didn't have anything before that. So <laughs> yeah. turn yeah. that back on. Okay, so the main buildings are giving you the perspective, and you're sticking with them. You're basically yeah. staying with the buildings, kind of yeah. the perspective of the buildings generally where yeah. they are. Yeah, the right part, I just kept a lot of the right part. Left part, I just didn't want it that. I still wanted to feel you are in the street with some shock, like uh, both left and right. Yeah. So I just added like another photo of something just to start with, just to. And do you have like a perspective grid overlaid onto the image so you can figure out exactly how you're going to put that building in there? Uh, I kind of follow uh, just uh, the line in there because I know at the end it's it's not accurate when we're gonna look like even this I'm not sure it's you know but it doesn't bother me and I don't think it. No, it, it looks right. I'm just, just you know, but yeah. you're kind of eyeballing it to see if. Yeah, it's eyeballing it. Yeah. And you were looking for other photos. What were you? Did you already have a folder full of photos, or did you just find that one? Where did that left photo come from? Uh, it, you don't have to find the source, but I'm just curious, like the process for finding it. Do you like, oh crap, I need a building exactly for this? I guess it's it's when I uh, I did those research, I just you know saved uh, like a bunch of photos. Right, so you I, had a folder. And I, I, yeah, and I uh, I had a folder of ref when I started, so I just had to you know go inside and uh, just found this one, which was okay, that kind of fit. Yeah. And it's 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 pretty easy to find those threads because you are high level in the street, so you can even like just go Google Google Street View, and, like any street, and I can just you know find. Yeah, that is actually really office. interesting because if we're doing um, everything, the streets, yeah, if we're doing level. everything from yeah. camera level, yeah. the problem is yeah. the Google Street View car though, the camera of that car is like yeah. nine feet above the ground, so it's yeah. almost eye level, but it's like four feet above eye level, kind of. But it's enough, you know, to start with, you can still, you know, squash a bit like the ref. Yeah. Change the perspective and it's gonna work, but yeah. And that snow though, that snow is just already that you grabbed in the first, um, in the click on the one. You, the, yeah, I had some photo for this. So I just used my own photos. You had your own photos? Yeah, for, for the snow, yeah. Can we see those? Do you have those around? Uh, I might, uh, wait. So yeah, I got the photos. Okay. Oh crap. Okay. That's oh, yeah, I had a bunch. Yeah. And where'd you take these? Montreal. 
It uh, in Montreal, you have snow that falls from the sky and, and lands on the ground. Yeah, yeah, like I, you know, I, eight months a year, so I had time just to get the ref. No rush, you know, just to get that, that kind of ref in Montreal. Yeah, yeah, well, that's cool because we don't have that here. So, do you know which one you used? I guess you get a lot of great street shots and stuff. Probably might be a mix, but. Uh, maybe start it with you know one of those I might have used uh, for the uh, you know some part maybe I don't even like remember exactly. Now what would you be on a more general note? What would you be looking sure. for? But I know I mixed a, you know because I. Yeah, what are you looking for in a photo that's going to make it work in the shot? Like what in your mind? What do you already know that you want from your photo? Because there you have a lot of different snow that you could put in there. But this one like I didn't want it like those shadows obviously because it's from trees. So I kind of, uh, I try to avoid that. Also, I wanted something uh, in shadows, just because like, from the plate, right? mainly in shadows, you can have those hints of light, but I just wanted something in shadows. Right, so fun. the main thing was that it wasn't sunlight lit, kind of, you could find something yeah. that was overcast. And then mm -hmm. when it's overcast, it's kind of easier to add the sunlight than it is to take away yeah. the sunlight. Yeah, and I think that's what I did after, because like, it was just the first part, but it, it just, you know, too much thing happening for me, like even in the snow. I think like what's good with snow, it's, it's a good excuse just to make something like, you know, a bit of rest in the image. A bit of rest is true, but there's something else you're doing in this picture, which is you're designing the snow shape, even in this first photo. And I know you might have cut, you painted out of it, obviously, a little bit, but you're creating this line yeah. going into the image where the yeah. pavement is a different value than the snow. And then the pavement is creating this this like yeah. crispy curve, yeah, which goes with the storytelling, and you have a guy shoveling. Yeah, I just wanted that. I think it's cool, you know. Yeah, it's kind of justified the the shape, and you just don't have just the shape just going, you know. Nice yeah, and like, just, and, and yeah. that's that's again, that's a thing from drawing. Like people are always asking, well, all mm -hmm. this technical stuff. Like, how is the art, traditional art coming in? Well, if you were drawing this, you would want some yeah. beautiful swoopy shapes, and by drawing it, you would naturally find those. You're yeah. not necessarily drawing it, but you're still finding the right cool shapes that would come from like drawing yeah. experience. And you have also, there's, but there's also another crazy thing going on here. You have that being shoveled out of the way, but then you also have walking paths of people. Yeah. Like the snow both, of the yeah. walking path also going into the shot. Yeah. I think that, that make the place alive just to have that, like you can see like they just walk through that. Right. So when you were finding your original I photo, did you just, find... I think it's cool. You know, it's cool detail just to make it more real. Yeah. But you oh, yeah. Maybe I didn't think of it, but I just, you know, maybe just came across like those kind of stuff where you see, oh, okay, that's cool. Right? You have the snow and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. You can see that it's just like people just passing by. Right. You just create that, that kind of, uh, of path. Yeah, because you did a thing where in the in the in the choice of photo you made, you had on the left it's smooth, then yeah. in the middle there's a leaning into the shot of like walking people, and then on the right it's actually cut I mean, it's open. Cool. You have to have that, you know, it's most and it's breaking up. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that was the first pass, and even like yeah, it's starting to add, uh, you know, the building, some cars, even the horse, because I wanted that story. Like it's. It's not like a West End, but almost, you know, it's not like you have a right. saloon, but almost. And just right, people. right. Yeah, because in that time period, that kind of makes sense. It's really, you don't really, know, I don't really notice it until you mentioned it now, but it is fun to see the, like, uh, the car, the, the, like, the modern car covered in snow next to a horse coming into the same sort of thing. Yeah, yeah I thought it was, yeah, it was, you know, fun to have that. And it just, and you know, they move, yeah. These horses and these people, are these coming from a library of stuff you already have, or did you just custom uh, find these for these images? I mean, I mean, I made a library out of them after, but because I didn't have them. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I just look for, you know, people on us, you know, just us just waiting like that, guys shoveling. Right. No, the, the, what's also interesting is that you're not paying attention to your comp anymore. Like you had a sketch, but you're kind of just, at this point, you're just deciding as you go yeah. what you want, what you want, where. You're not like, oh, I made this sketch. I got to stick to it. A lot of people, I think, when they make a sketch, and if the sketch is approved, I would say to them, yeah. stay with your sketch. Once yeah. we have a sketch that's approved, don't veer from it. But you're kind of 
more of a freelance with six shooters, you know? Pew, 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 pew. You just kind of yeah. like, you're, you're freestyling as sketches. you go, and you can do it. But not yeah. everyone can do that. Not everyone can, like, have a clear sketch. Totally so the sketch is more like, a, uh, it's almost like a reminder, like a post-it with the ideas I might want to do in the image, but not necessarily, you know, just one-on-one, -on -one, the comp I want. I'm just going to, like, you know, that part on the left, I change it, but I know I want it, you know, just to feel a bit more in the streets. So but I that should. sketch for you is still valuable. You like, you like having it's that, easy. even if you're not going to follow it. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I just, you know, like put it in big, even if I, I didn't use it, but I just can, I don't know, might refer to, but at some point, yeah, I'm not even going to look at it anymore. It was just, I got my ideas out of that, but I'm just, I'm never going to, uh, is it like, you know, just matching the, the right. top. I'm not yeah. going to do that. Yeah. Well, I think you have the ability and talent to be able to do that. But I think a lot of people, I would say, you kind of stick to the sketch, but you obviously uh, know how to break from it and keep the comp on track, yeah. keep the image yeah. on track. All right, next step. I'm excited. Uh, yeah, next step, a bit more of the, uh, so yeah, you see like the background was just, it, it was for the, you know, the original mocker, but too noisy, you know, everywhere. It just, it was just too much. And it was yeah. mushy as well. So I just, look for pictures just like that. And I just love that, uh, just that, you know, just that at one point you have the light, just eating. Oh, you're saying in this photo, there's a little bit of light hitting the mountain so and you wanted and to keep that. I just that. added some low clouds, some, yeah, I wanted to keep that. I just added like more snow. You can see like I just painted because I think it was like many trees. Um, oh, I think actually even the, the light was not there. I just found like another picture with light that I added in the picture. So you had the idea that you wanted a little bit of light hitting that mountain yeah. and you wanted the fog in there because when you say too noisy, what you mean is like there was too much contrast in that background photo. Yeah, too much detail everywhere. Like. And it was t taking away from what was going on in the bottom part of the picture. Yeah, because I don't want like, you know, the mountain is cool, but it's not the important part of the image. So That's a really hard thing for a lot of people that you're instinctively doing. But I think that's a tricky thing, a good point to make, is that you had this top area that was super contrasty. Technically, yeah. it looked cool, but you're pushing that back so that you can kind of bring people back yeah. down to the And bottom. I know I'm going to have so much detail already in there, and I don't want, like, extra detail in the background. Yeah. And technically, yeah. you still have a lot of detail back there. Yeah. Just, it's low contrast detail instead of high contrast detail. Yeah, low contrast, like the that kind of you know foggy effect always help just to calm down. Now, how do and you I know get, about that foggy that, effect? Because that's something uh, we talked before about. But how did you know that's a thing? I mean, how do you know? Oh, sometimes there's fog coming down and there's little streaks of light hitting the mountain. Like where'd that come from? I don't know. Just photos, man. Just looking a bit at you know what's what's happening. When you look for ref, you find that you know one ref. You just find that kind of mood in a picture that is cool and I'm just just gonna get inspired by it and try to put it in the concept. Yeah. Yeah, well it looks awesome. And also your clouds are nice. It's like it's nice that it's super soft on the top and then it's open yeah. a little bit and then there's like another cloud coming up from the bottom. It's delicious. And then you had those foreground trees you added too or those mid ground trees. Those came Oh yeah. From yeah. Yeah those yeah. And what were you thinking when you added those? Because you could argue, one could argue, hey, well, I thought you were trying to make it simple. So why did you add something that is like kind of detailed in that mid-ground again, that's kind of a little bit contrasty? I feel it gives more depth, I think, to it. I, mm -hmm. I just wanted to say like, it's not stopping maybe right behind that. It just feels weird, you have that, that gap with just straight, I don't know, that high contrast, low contrast. So I just I felt I needed something in between. Yeah, you just felt- Just to break that too harsh of a cut. Yeah, it looks great. But yeah, it's a feeling you had of like, oh, I just want one more thing to give us yeah. more going back into the shot. Yeah. And yeah, you see, like, I just simplified, like, the, the snow. I just wanted. Yeah, you did simplify the snow soft, quite a bit. You know, just a bit like, okay, let's scan down. Can you turn that off on and everything. on again just a couple times just so we can look at the difference? Right, and there's a fence that you added on the left. Yeah, because it was just to, like it, it just, just to shop. And I figured like if they have horse, maybe there is, you know, just that kind of barn, just to 
you know, they can just put the horse you at the fence with the snow and uh, yeah, because you got to tie up your cool. horse to something. You got to wrap a rope around and yeah, I don't know. It's just cool and it's 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 bring like more life. You have that, you know, like someone just just putting a stack in there and you have the horse just just waiting. It just now like it's becoming like more like the Jackson yeah. we wanted to do and not just you know. Yeah, and 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 these characters that you're just dropping in just like it takes a are you like spending time finding the right character to throw in the shot are these characters like really quickly put in the ones that you because they keep changing every comp so you just find some characters really quick to throw in there some horses to just throw in there real quick just to see if they work just just the comp because yeah this one is is, yeah like just for the comp you know i know i wanted like either one character at first it was one but i just thought two might be cool like it's eddie and joe you know, just coming back from something. Yeah. And it looks like, too, you... Uh, I just throw them, and I'm just going to rearrange them as I go. Yeah. Yeah, because their poses and their perspective is perfect. So it looks like you spent a lot of time making them right. But you just kind of found characters in the right pose and put them in there real quick. Just as I think it's... Cool. Yeah, there might be a mix. Uh, those two, maybe uh, the top part was not the, like from the same character as the bottom part. So yeah. I just try to mix the characters like that. Another big thing that's happening here is that you have this idea of that it's overcast and cloudy generally, but then yeah. there's a strip of sunlight coming through the whole image. And you made everything kind of blue, which yeah. is like your initial reference on the top row of your initial reference sheet. You had a couple shots that yeah. were more like that, that had that like cool, yeah. nice blue over everything. Yeah. And I think I also use, I might have used, uh, you know, some of those ref where it's, you know, you can see like it's really blue in the shadow and, Maybe I, I, I went more for that than the uh, their ref from the revenants. But after I just gonna grade everything uh, according to that reference. Right. And what grade any by grade everything, you mean color grade. But that is like it. Change yeah. the color. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, the, the professional are saying, you know, grade. Yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah. say grade. I'm just for the I'm just for everybody. You say some term that I think maybe not everyone knows. I'm just, Sounds cool, you know, just yeah, <laughs> yeah, just uh, I'm just gonna grade it real quick. Yeah. And yeah, after yeah, next step is just adding more, you know, detail. Because I, I know I throw that truck and I just thought that could be a you know, maybe a food truck. Okay, so they that one came, doubles. this new one, you added a rabbit in her hand. Yeah, let's turn that off and on for a second. Yeah. Let's see the last one. Hmm, it's not refreshing super quick. Turn it off and leave it off for a second. So yeah, the car on the right, got a lot simpler, right? You had two yeah. cars there and you took them out of the way and you moved, looks like you moved that car over to the right. You covered it in snow almost entirely. Yeah. And you kind of made a little story with that cool little corner piece that you have, the one that we saw in the reference. Yeah. That building. But it's fun because, you know, that's what we said, because if you look back at that, uh, wait, wait, where are they? Uh, I add them in there. Uh, it was just, you know, the idea of, you know, they could gather around the fire. It's right. them actually. It's Oh, it was from just, another photo. It was from the no, another comp, another oh, photo, another and comp. I just reused that ID. Oh, that's, that's cool. The, and in the background, we can see what used to be that Starbucks, but that same oh, structure. I, that. I just yeah. thought it was cool. It's a beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And also, you even put it on a corner. Like, imagine, at first it was straight, but you put it on, like, the corner there yeah. so you can see more of the front of it. And yeah, it was uh, refining, you know, some stuff at some, uh, you can see like some smoke here and there, just make the place alive. Yeah. A bit more like stuff happening outside that frame. That guy yeah. didn't seem right. So I just, you know, change, you know, just find another guy. What didn't seem right? I, I did a bit more crawl, like stuff happening. I don't know, just this closing. I didn't like, and he looked, I don't know, he looked happy. I just didn't want that. It was just, I guess, personal state, taste. I just wanted something. Wait, what was there before? Turn off and let's see the old one. Yeah, I'll, uh... It's not like big change. I even add like some trees. Like... Yeah. 
Yeah. Again, you know, you can see that line of tree in the back. Just because you see, that's what I said. Like, it just cut too much, like from background to that mid-round. I just don't like that arch cut. Yeah, yeah. You wanted yeah, something sure. to create a little more depth. Yeah, a transition before you you reach the background it just sure. helps. Yeah. And I did like you know more people in the background, just you know chatting and uh, just to make the place alive. And you have a folder full of people sitting and chatting and walking around. Or are you grabbing them again for this? You keep them. You keep them in the holster. Little Photoshop files. Along the way, I think we did that. You know, on the project. Hmm. Yeah. Now, yeah, I think we, we started doing that on the project, actually, just, you know, because I don't want to redo an alpha every time, so I just started yeah. to, to keep almost everything I extract in folders and separate folders. Right, and just have it there. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's see next one. Yeah. So, yeah, before... And the next... It's more detailed, just, just, you know, keep adding. Got it. You got, some, you got some Firefly logos up there. You got yeah. some little tents in the back. You added that tower in the far background. Yeah, because it's, you know, they're still on the watch, I guess. Just, you know, the wall outside is still like a, a threat. So I think a watchtower would be cool. Even like, you know, people on top of the building just, you know, checking the surroundings of the city. Yeah, nice, but I mean, story -wise. The, the watchtower, though, it's not just, you didn't like, turn, you clicked a button and turned on a watchtower, but it looks like a watchtower that people in the apocalypse built by hand with the materials that were available. Yeah. There's like a million yeah. decisions and design decisions that went into that watchtower yeah. that just got turned on with a click. So when you were thinking about adding a watchtower, how did it start? Did you scribble something there and be like, there should be a watchtower here? Like, how did that realized, designed, thought through watchtower show up? I think we had some of their design for other stuff, you know, where you see the, you have those metal plates and all of that. Yeah. But, and I just, you know, I didn't sketch because I think I probably from, from that step, I just felt it was missing, you know, something. And I just, you know, thought that it just came like, oh, watch the West, you know, some structure on the rooftop. It's just right. like they're re repurposing, like, you know, the city. So you can have something on top of the, you know, of everything that just adding and stacking on top of. But you didn't sketch it out. You just thought this kind of needs something here or this yeah. would look good here, but you didn't like plan it out or scribble it or you just, you kind of were like, it's going to be fine. Like as you're going, you're Sometimes, like, okay. yeah, I don't have to, cause I know it was miss. I knew it was missing something. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I just started with, uh, I think I just found a picture and I just, you know, keep adding on top cause those metal plates were not there obviously. So right. I just gonna, and even the, the, more snow beats. I just paint in the snow. Yeah. And the little windows? Uh, yeah, I think it was like two separate watchtower. One has the window and the other one didn't. So I just... Uh, and perspective on them looks fantastically perfect. So is that something you're tweaking? Again, you're like knowing you have like a little perspective line grid or you're just kind of eyeballing it? I mean, I have, I have that building from, that is from the photo. So yeah. it's kind of my guide. I right. know I can... And it's probably... You know, if you look at it, it's probably, it might be a bit wrong, but it's not wrong at that point where you say, oh, the perspective is completely off, you know? So yeah. I'm okay with it. I can, you know, I just, I'm okay with that. Yeah. And yeah, those, it's, it was, again, like- Yeah, I and you added a lot of stuff. You like the turned over, uh, like one of those turned thing. over wheels, shovels, wood plow. Yeah. yeah. You cleared the path for the players, for the walking path a little bit more. Yeah. Move the shoveling guy forward. Yeah, just a bit and just add that, you know, extra line. But I think at the end I removed it. It was just a bit too much. I don't know. I just didn't like that swoopy shape. Oh, this is not the shape that made it into the final. Uh, no, I don't okay. think so. And yeah, after it was the grape. Like oh. a bit more. Raven and cinematic style. So, so when you say grade, what did you do in Photoshop? Oh, just, uh, I think I probably desaturate uh, color balance, you know, stuff like that. I just, I just have the picture on the side from the, from the movie and I just try to match it uh, using, you know, anyway, but, you know, I can just, uh, 
you know, it was like, I just didn't like because it was just too blue. It was just too extreme. And I yeah. just wanted that cinematic look a bit more. And part and of the cinematic like, look is just kind of toning down the saturation of colors yeah. and stuff. Because, you know, just by doing that, it's almost, you know, closer to the, to the red. Just, yeah. just the color balance and the saturation and you just get something. Yeah. But I feel like the last, the end one ended up kind of blue, more, a little more bluish now if I'm thinking about it. Uh, yeah, maybe, yeah. Uh, and this one was the kind of last Okay, one. wait a second. So, okay, this is, in this last one, God came into the photo here. Yeah, but, yeah. Because I think it was the original ID, that's why. Because the original ID, even of the sketch, and even, I think, from the, and I think also because the name of the, of the image was a church street. And at the oh. end, I just didn't put the church <laughs> on, the, on that version. But bringing back was actually pretty cool, I think. It just, you know, gives something that part. Yeah, it's a tricky thing to try to put a Again. finger on because you are a master yeah, of point. having a ton of crap in the shot and you keep adding stuff. And for most people, yeah. When they keep adding stuff, they just make it worse. But somehow you keep adding stuff and it keeps, and, and it's not even in, in any rhyme or reason. It doesn't seem like there's, like it's hard when you, a lot of times when you explain how to make a good composition to people, there's an element of like, well, it's always nice when you have this one thing and separated from the other thing. Yeah. So it's a very clear focal point. But your compositions aren't simple. They're really complex, super complex. But somehow in the end of the day, with all that stuff in the shot, all these people, all these different things to look at, it still kind of works in terms of like, you know what you should look at right away and you know, and you just have a lot of things for your eye to kind of enjoy. Like, did you not feel like, I don't feel like the church and the watchtower are competing. It just adds depth and richness. But why do you think yeah. that is? Why do you think you're able to add a lot of stuff in there and it just doesn't? I guess it's keeping those. That's why I, I think I wanted to add the church, but that's why I removed that. Because it just, you know, you always, you already have like so much contrast and detail. I see. In That's interesting. And just by removing it, it just, okay, it's, you know, it's gonna, okay, turn down, you know, a bit like the contrast and the detail in there. It's kind of, you know, something a bit more. Smooth. Right. So yeah. you had this concrete shape in the foreground that initially was a nice contrasting thing that led your eye into the picture. But once all these other elements came into it, you felt like maybe that's one yeah. thing too many. But I kept it subtle. You know, it's yeah. still there. You, you still feel it. Yeah. It's, just felt like that poor guy is just shoveling, you know, every day. So I just really <laughs> like it off, off Well, he, he spent all this time shoveling. He's, he's really, man, he's really into his work because there is not even like a bit of snow. The, yeah, he did a great so job. Clean. He spent all this time shoveling. And then after like 30 hours of shoveling, all the snow came back. Yeah. So how long gonna, yeah, they could do a spin-off, you know, of that guy <laughs> again, the shoveling guy. It's make gonna be little, the DLC. Make a little mini game, <laughs> Last of Us Three. This uh, snow ain't gonna shovel itself. Yeah. Um, how uh, long did this image take? Uh, maybe uh, four, I think we we never eat like more than four days, so uh, might be something like that. Something like that. So wait, eight hours a day. So maybe like maybe top. Four. Maybe, yeah, 30 hours, maybe. 30, 30 hours. Yeah. I think I did like, a, uh, maybe didn't, uh, I'm not sure it was from the final, I just added it after the church. Oh, you know, the, the church, like, like we sent them one without the church and you're- Yeah, the church, I think the church, church right? yeah, I just added the church, you know, just because yeah, I look back at it and I was like, ah, something I, like, I didn't like the image that much, just by adding that, I was like, ah, no way. Yeah, I don't remember the church, actually. And I yeah. feel like I'm like, my brain is missing something. Yeah. But also, one last thing I'll point out is that you put, and this is something I've seen in other images, too. You left the foreground in shadow, but you put this strip of light in the background that does a really good job of, like, pulling your eye way into the picture. Because the highest contrast area is, like, yeah. way far back into the shot. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I removed, like, from the, uh, you know, from the start. You know, I had those, but it just, you know, everywhere you're gonna have like those patch of light everywhere yeah. which you know didn't help and it didn't make like that much land and it, it would have been like just i contrast everywhere so that's such a that's again it's a super hard thing for people to say look at all this light and the way it's hitting the snow and how beautiful it is because the light hitting the snow and the photo you found yeah, it looks beautiful yeah. but to say no i don't get to it's have cool that and you want you want to put it yeah yeah you really want yeah, it. And then yeah. you have to have the discipline to be like, no, you can't yeah. be here, beautiful thing. Yeah. Cause I want this other thing that is part of the bigger picture. 
Yeah. And yeah, I added the rabbits. Uh, I think I added them like before, but I just add a bit more to the story than just, uh, I think, yeah, I added them like pretty early, but it just, otherwise, just damn well. Yeah. Looking back, and I thought like, okay, for the story, because I didn't have the story, I kind of like to, you know, it's great along the way, I'm doing the image, you know, just adding stuff and just thinking of the story, but I might not have it from the start, you know. Yeah, that scenery well, happening. We talk about storytelling all the time in a shot, and sometimes, and and for people, sometimes it's a little bit confusing. Like, what do you mean by tell a story? Because we're doing concept art, right? We're yeah. giving information to the modelers for them yeah. to build a scene. But then, yeah. separate from that, I'm interested in it. You're interested in it. All the artists that at One Pixel Brush are kind of on this train, which is like, let's add storytelling, even though technically we're kind of here to give them information about how to build this in the game. But you're adding all these moments on your own that say oh that make you wonder like oh what's this character uh, doing and where are they going but i think it might maybe at the end i don't know if you know help the i don't know animato you know that's gonna you know just do the scene just oh maybe those npc can just do that and do that so i guess that can also help no i don't yeah. know yeah but, totally bravo bravo well done well done well done